Hi, this is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and today I'm doing a quick release notes video on Prusa Slicer 2.7.1. So let's go ahead and get started. So as a minor release, this is mostly just bug fixes and then some small improvements. It looks like there's some improvements to the way they're doing wipe towers and how the metadata is being handled. And then also they've moved the export to binary G code from the print settings over to the printer settings. So if I take a look at that. So here's where it was over on print settings. And then on printer settings, they have it down here supports binary G code. Now I also noticed that there is a universal way to set this so it's global. And that's under preferences and other. So let's take a look. So if I go under configuration and preferences and then bring that box up, and let's go under other. Here's the option to use binary G code when the printer supports it. So again, that's checked. I'm probably gonna, I'll leave that checked. That's okay. So those are the minor changes. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. I thank you for your time today. Hi. This is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and I want to thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. If you need some additional help, I've also posted some links in the video description. You can set up a 15-minute help session with me, and I'm more than happy to sit down with you and see if I can help you out. If you need some additional help, I'm also going to try doing one-hour sessions for anybody that's interested. And like I said, I'm testing this stuff out. I want to thank you again for joining me, and I look forward to talking to you again next time. Thanks. Have a good day.